Hey guys, so it is 2023 and I thought it was about time that I did an updated Shopify tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna jump straight into a step-by-step -step on how to actually launch a successful e-commerce store on Shopify. So an update from my past Shopify tutorial is the fact that you can have a free trial and then you get three months paying just one pound per month for your Shopify plan. So that is a great incentive and gives you at least three months just to test the waters. And if you don't end up liking it and want to change from Shopify, at least you've only invested three pound. However, I'm pretty sure that you will fall in love with Shopify like I did. First, I just want to show you guys some of the newer updates to Shopify. So now we have a one page checkout which before and I know when I've shopped with other Shopify stores is it's a bit annoying when you have to click so many different nexts on your checkout whereas now you can fill everything in as you can see here within just one page which just makes the checkout process smoother and also won't put your customers off. So that's a great update. We also have Shopify shop. Now with this, you can actually have a badge on your product page, which is gonna promise to the customer reliability when it comes to shipping because before you couldn't really have like an estimate on when your shipping was going to arrive officially you could put what you estimate yourself as a business owner but with shop that is going to be exactly what the tracking is and when it's going to arrive so it just gives customers a bit more security and trust within your business when they see this badge here also now ai is getting super popular within e-commerce and just online business in general and now i've seen that Shopify actually have AI options. So you can use Shopify magic and it will create product descriptions for you. Like, wow, you don't have to go to a third party app. You can use it within Shopify, which is amazing. So if you're someone who kind of struggles with copywriting, this could be a great option for you. Won't get into too many of the updates because that is a whole video in itself. Let's just get into starting a Shopify store. So we're going to sign up for the free trial. I'm going to skip these questions and let's just get straight to it. We're in this store I'm going to create a candle business so it's a fake candle business so we're just going to go ahead and write um I'm just going to put relax restore candles I don't know why um and then yeah UK so now it is building our store I signed up for the trial so we're all good to go let's see what it comes up with so we have relax restore candles so when you first start up your Shopify store and you don't have a domain name it will just say relax restore candles dot shop dot my shopify.com so it doesn't look as professional and I would recommend you buy a domain name but hey we're just doing this for now for free to save some money so here we have our dashboard and it here gives you a list of things that you can do it's prompting us to add our product first but here is where you'll see your orders it will show you any orders that are needing fulfilled here you can also create your shipping labels You've got your products and inventory. If you have multiple products, they will all be listed here. Customers, this will actually note down all of your customers and it will have their details that they have agreed to share with you, obviously. And then you're able to email them if needs be and you can see what they've actually spent on and what they've ordered. And we've got our analytics here, which I absolutely love. It's a great way to record your KPIs. So we've got how many orders, the conversion rate, how much the average order value is and so on. Then you've got your marketing so you can start up automations and campaigns, whether it's email, whether it is ads online on social media. And then we have discounts. You can create discount codes within Shopify as well. And then here is where you can add your third party apps, which I have a video that is all about the best Shopify apps that I think are great for you to download. So I'll definitely link that down below. And then within here, we can see what our store is going to look like and we can choose from some themes. Of course, I'm going to recommend that you go with a free theme first of all before, you know, you invest in a theme and a design. I am going to now upload our first product. So we're going to add products and we're going to go ahead with my favorite scent is lemon. So I'm going to put a lemon soy candle so here i'm just going to put a very simple description so lemon home and then what we can also do is some bullet points so i like to bullet point some of the benefits of your product here as well and then you could maybe put some of the shipping information here as well 
So let's just put a price here of £10 and we're going to say that it costs maybe £3. So now we can shop our quantity. If you have, um, say we've got 50 in stock, we're not going to continue selling when we're out of stock, but you can do that if you have enough inventory, but we're not going to do that. We don't have a SKU or barcode, physical products. This product ships internationally. This is something new. Okay, so this is cool. So country of re origin, origin is the UK. And this is something that is going to help you with shipping internationally. So your products are going to need a HS code and you can find this on the government website. So I'm just going to look for HS code for candle. I'm going to make sure it's the UK Gov one. Trade tariffs is another way that you can do it. So we're going to say candle. Candle. So here we can see that this is the code. I think I could have just made it easier for myself and typed candle. See, before you couldn't do that, guys. So that's really cool. So candles, there you go. It's just got the code here there for us. Or you could have a um, digital product or service, which we're not doing. We're doing a physical product. So there we go. And then this is what it's going to look like in Google. When people are searching on Google, it will have your title here and then a little bit of a description. So this is great for SEO and this can be edited. So if you want to add a specific description just for Google search, you can put that here too. So we may have different sizes, colors, um, or styles. I'm not going to do that for today's video. I'm just going to keep it very simple. And here is also where we will add the images or videos or any kind of gifts and stuff you want to put for the product. You can also categorize things. So if we put um, maybe home decor, home fragrances, and or... This is just to help to organize your products, especially if you have a business that sells multiple products. Um, active, I'm going to save that first. I'm going to find a lemon candle image and I'm going to find a lifestyle image as well, just to show you guys how you can um, switch things up add files and here you can actually drag which image you want to be seen first when people actually head on your product page so we're going to put the white one first because it looks better on a white background and I'm just going to save this now so that is your product uploaded congratulations now we can set up our store because right now all we have is a product so let's just go ahead and start our online store so I can show you exactly what you can do with this and let's try craft for today's theme okay now we're going to customize craft and this is what your store homepage is going to look like currently so it already puts your store name here at the top you've already got some pages ready which is so good it kind of sets you up for success already and you've got your announcement bar which is pretty Pretty good to put your like discount code in so we're going to change this to say um 10 percent off first your first order code sent you can also link to a page here if you want to but we're just gonna save it as that for now you can also hide things by taking off this eye so that will hide things for you so if you want to hide your announcement bar but you don't want to delete it completely all you have to do is click the eye so here we have different types of blocks and here's when you can get creative so you can have a block for text you can have a block for a collage a video here you can put videos in you can have different types of reviews blog posts if you start a blog which i definitely recommend and then the most important thing i like to include on my website is a subscribe so here we can click on how to do our subscribe so we're going to subscribe to emails subscribe to our mail list you can put in a little description there and then you can also edit um for the email form but if you wanted to really customize your store more here you can actually put in your featured product so let's go ahead and add our product in to the home page if you drag this up it will move your block around so obviously we want our product up at the top so when we click into this product i'm going to select our product which is our lemon soy candle so there you go it's looking quite good actually that picture worked perfectly so here we go we've got your header you've got a bit about the brand and then we've got our 
one product. Here you can edit things as well. So if you want to edit some of the text, the title, and um, the variant here, like there's different accents and different colors. If you want it to be completely white, you can do that. But as you can see here, it's super easy to edit your Shopify store. I'm just going to publish this for now. And then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when we view our store properly. As you can see here, it gives you a little preview of what it will look like on mobile as well. And you can also do that when you're editing as well. So here we have our store. It looks so cute. We can add to cart. If we were if we're a customer, this is what our brand and our products gonna and our website's gonna look like. Put our cart in here, and then you've got your PayPal and everything set up. But obviously, we need to set up our shipping and our payment stuff. So now we're gonna go into our settings. So here we're gonna go into payments, and here we already have a PayPal. So you want to connect that to your business PayPal account. You also have different payment methods that you can add. For example. They, they, I used to use Klarna and also ClearPay to offer my customers the chance of actually paying in installments. So yeah, as you can see here, you can apply for Klarna or ClearPay. And you also want to activate Shopify payments. This is a good way for people to pay via their card or their credit and debit cards here so you can activate that and obviously put in your information next let's go into checkout now this is a great update i love this update so now they can actually self-serve returns before i had to do returns manually and they'd have to email me but now you can actually get them to do their own returns which is amazing so you can allow self self returns obviously it's going to need you to actually have your store set up for that but if that's something you're interested in that's going to be amazing especially if you're a clothing store i mean trying to do returns can be very difficult most of these things you just want to kind of keep in anyway if you want them to you know maybe if they want to tip and support your your brand you can actually put this in the checkout as well so that they can tip you and this is just a bit about your checkout so now we're going to go into shipping and this is going to be dependent on where you're shipping from but here we have our different rates so we're going to manage those rates we have eu um very sticky situation with the eu stuff and um, that would be something that i will try and put in a separate video because all these extra fees since they change ship into the eu is quite difficult international here you can actually put your own costs international shipping is very expensive right now you can add your own so you can change it to express so it's a bit quicker and then you could put in your own fee say for example it's 30 pound for express you can put give them an option for express or for standard international the uk i like to add yes yeah, so here if they spend 50 pound and up you can have free shipping here you can edit this though if you want it to be they've got to spend just 20 pound you can edit that and it's based on order price or if it's based on weight it's totally up to you um oh sorry so that will be zero for the price and then the minimum price is 20 pound they have to spend the normal price is 5.99 for all uk orders if you want to like set up more countries and different separate rates for those countries you can go to markets and you can set that up within the markets section of shopify which is quite helpful because it will show you different conversion rates and you know what's current within the different markets and different shipping prices domain this is where you will connect your if you get a domain name which is relaxstorecandles.com instead of .shopify.com here is where you will actually connect your domain so you can buy one from here but i would recommend buying one from godaddy and then connecting it to Shopify branding. So here you can add your logo and your brand colors and any kind of like cover images and slogans and stuff. It has a section for you to do that here so that it will fill it in for you on your actual store. Here you have your policies. So you can actually include policies on your website because some customers will definitely be on you to find out what your refund policy, what your privacy policy is. And if you have no idea, simply just create from the template that Shopify has already created for you, which I love. Look, it just, you can edit it how you want to edit it, but it has a template there for you, which is super, 
super, super handy. So they've got terms of service, privacy, shipping, contact information. Of course, you're going to want to put in your own contact information here. Another thing I just want to cover is the blog post section. So I really recommend that you guys start a blog within your store because it's going to help for you to show up in Google search. So for example, with this candle business, I would create some blog posts on candle scents for spring, top candle scents for summer. You may want to include the benefits of soy candles. You can create a blog about all of these types of topics. And then again, here you can edit your website CEO. So when the blog post turns up onto Google, put in some of the keywords for that blog topic into here. I found within my store that I had a lot of sales actually come from blog posts on my website. So it's something that I definitely recommend. Here you can manage the different pages that are on your website. So for now, we just have a contact page, but we can also change it within our navigation as well. So here is your main menu. So if you want to delete catalog, you can do that here. If you want to delete the contact page, you can do that here too. So that pretty much is the basics of how to set up your Shopify store. If you need any further help or information, definitely check out my other Shopify videos. But this is just the basic updated Shopify tutorial for 2023. I'm loving the new updates and I hope you guys love them too. So guys, I hope this video has made you more confident to start your Shopify store this year. Definitely let me know down below what business you are starting. I'm always interested to see the different types of niches and products. Subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed and I'll catch you guys in part two of this series where we'll be covering Squarespace.